Hello everybody, welcome back. Welcome back all to the channel. I am still unsure as to whether I should go back to my older world on Stalker or if I should just keep pressing forward with Interloper. I think I'm actually going to continue with Interloper because things are getting exciting. <laughs> it's starting to get really good. So yeah, we're just going to chill with this for now. And in this stream, it's going to be a little bit more chill. It's going to be less exploration, more hunting, gathering parts, craft parts, guts, pelts, and whatnot. Starting to craft our first pieces of clothing, as well as reading through all these books. We've got to start doing that, especially the cooking ones. The cooking ones are going to be really, really handy and helpful. So anyways, let's figure out what I need to do as of now. I'm just going to check my food. Let's see if we need to hunt for any more. Could always go fishing, actually. I think I read that book. Yeah, that one's read. Let's have a look outside. So how much food do I have? Not much at all. In fact, it's now all gone, so it would be wise to either bring down a deer or go fishing for a bit, and it is really cold. So we could have gone fishing, but another deer pelt would actually be really good, plus the guts. But I may as well grab it as it's on our doorstep. And that is a clean edge shot. Not very often do you get those. <laughs> yes, yeah, straight nerd. Awesome. Uh, and quartering. I think the only time you would... <laughs> no, thank you, random ZZZZ. I know you're a bot, but... <laughs> I think the only time... You wouldn't quarter is Not if sure you need to eat the food then and there. And if it's like a clear day like this, where you can light a fire next to it. Like if I hunted that deer way out into the wilderness, I would light a fire then and there. <clears throat> I'd cook it up, try and eat as much as possible, and carry the rest back with me. But since that deer was so close, there is no point... No point in just lighting a fire there. Okay, let's drop that. More guts, guts curing. We could actually make some pants rather soon. No, I don't need to make pants. We've got pretty damn good pants. I'm going to make boots. We're going to need better boots and the rabbit skin stuff. We're going to have to prioritize, prioritize quite soon. But in the meantime... Let's harvest all these with our hands. Can you eat trees? Can you eat trees? Because I'm gonna. I'm gonna eat a tree. And I wish I had a fire striker still. <laughs> that was so useful, the fire striker. I wonder how much better it is than wood matches. Is it just an extra 5%? Either way, I guess my tip for fire lighting, early game and stuff like that, is to use the best stuff to begin with. I always light my fires with sticks, because it's got a higher chance. But if you have a book, use books. Don't save your books, because you're going to get, you know, once you reach level 3, fire lighting and above, it's going to get a lot easier going to be able to light fires really consistently with just wood. If you have a book, use it. Don't save it or anything like that. If you have a fire striker, also use it. Early game. No need to save those as well. But how much is the the mittens? We can also craft the mittens, I think. Yeah, we can. Actually got enough for everything. <laughs> Which is really... Really good. And we're going to use the fishing tackle. 
like I mentioned in my previous stream, the condition doesn't actually affect the chances of catching a fish plus line break in. So always prioritize using this. Plus it's faster. <laughs> Surprisingly faster. But anyway, there's the hat. And that is a whole two degrees. Awesome. I can just go there, I guess. <laughs> In fact, i got to figure out how... How much condition is lost with each hour of crafting? And hello, Avatar fan. How are you? Just woken up? <laughs> okay, that can just... Go down there for now. Yeah, gonna have to set up this blizzard trail. Even if it's just like... A little bit each time we come out here. Okay, we gotta get them sort of pointing towards our house, which is that way. And all you want to do is just go like this every... I feel like I'm doing it a little bit too close. I mean, I got plenty of these. <laughs> Yeah, I can definitely space them out, that one. But it's a good fail safe to fall back onto. It's a safety net, essentially. And that's what you've got to be creating in Interlopers, safety nets. Because when I get to a position where I do have really good clothing, I'm going to be filling most of the indoor locations plus caves with fuel. In case I do get caught out in a blizzard. Because blizzards are the killers. They're the events that are going to really challenge you. Okay, rabbit skin, hat. I think it was. No. Mins. Yeah. Uh, fishing tackle, 82%. So yeah, that should be going down to 62 Okay, we are dying of thirst. But yeah, we got the second piece. That's going to help us out a lot, actually. And look at that, we're actually quite warm now with our new mittens. But look at that, we've almost gone through another whole deer. <laughs> Which is why cooking is so important. Um, wow, not cold at all, despite the wind. Might get colder though, who knows. But I'm going to check this area up here for rabbits, and if there's none there, then I'll come back and check over there. We won't be fishing this time around. Rabbits should be enough food for a little bit. Just gonna dump the rabbit outside. This is a 30 to 45. Oh, okay. So they're a lot more reliable. I think I might just come in here. And warm up a little bit by just waiting. I don't want to wait too long. I don't want to spend too much time. It's it's something. There usually is always a wolf here, though. Well, not always, but... It's a very common spot for a wolf. Is that wolf coming for me? He is. Even with one cooked meat, I... I don't know. I feel like it's a bug. Because that's a long way away, and we don't have a scent marker. I don't know. I feel like that should be patched. Yeah, we do have a wolf. Um, not worth it. Not worth wasting our durability until we can cook the meat up. Not worth getting into that fight anyway, since we don't have the best clothing in the game. Rather get deer skin pants before we end up tackling that, as well as deer skin boots. Best if we just take things. 
carefully. <laughs> she isn't the best, but that's fine. Okay, I'm not going to fish for any longer. Yep, see, there's a blizzard. But I'm glad I set up this, because this is a direct line to where we need to go. So we just need to run straight. <laughs> That's why it's a good idea to create those. <laughs> Alright, let's harvest this guy before he freezes. Surprise he wasn't actually frozen. And it's still here. Three rabbits plus a deer. I wonder if I can... Oh, I really want to test... It came straight towards us. Okay. Do we hunt a deer? <laughs> Is that a good idea? Oh, I got a joke for you, chat. What do you call a deer with no eyes? But no one's heard this before. Okay, yeah, I've heard of it. Wow. Way to ruin the fun. <laughs> it's a good joke, though. And how about this? What do, you, what do you call a deer with no eyes and no legs? I really want to shoot this bear. <laughs> I really, really want to shoot this bear. But I also want to shoot the deer. In fact, I just want to shoot everything. Is that bad? Let's see if we can get a rabbit. In fact, one has disappeared. Is it down there or? I swear there was three last time. Yeah. You're too tired to think. <laughs> Still no idea. <laughs> Let's well, <I'd> shoot everything. <laughs> And what do you call a mushroom who buys all the drinks? A fun guy. Oh. Okay, that bear's coming back our way. Let's just chill with this rabbit. Okay. Would love a clean headshot. I doubt that's gonna... Oh. That one was close. Oh. Ankle's not going to be happy after that. We just got to be careful he doesn't run straight back into us. Let's take it nice and slow. And the bear is dead. The wolf, however, that's another problem. We do have accelerant. Hell. Maybe, uh. Guts, probably not so much, since it's a bit of a haul back to base. And we don't want any wolves coming after us. Let's get... I had a wolf, hang on. I still hear a wolf. That's the only issue. I'm going to be rather... Open. At least we got the palpo. That's like the main thing. And now we're fed. If we wait a little longer, it's not going to be able to cook, but at least we get the warmth. Now let's grab whatever we need torch, because why not? You can use it for a little bit at least. At least it keeps us a little bit more warm. <laughs> Doesn't do a whole lot in a medium size. I wouldn't call this a blizzard, but really bad weather. Oh, uh, the meat. 
Uh, let's leave all that outside. We'll harvest the rabbit up before we go to bed, though. Am I heading the right way? I have a really bad feeling I'm not heading the right way. No. Man, would it be so much easier. But as soon as we get back, we got to craft. Oh, there goes our wrist. Got to use a flare now. I will actually use a normal flare. Let me cycle through once more. There goes our other wrist. At least it's not the ankles. At least we can sprint still. To be honest, I'd rather the wrists to be broken rather than our ankles. In Stalker, it's the complete opposite. I'd rather the ankles to go than the wrists. Because I feel like the bow was a lot better in dealing with wolves rather than just running away. Because in Interloper, it's more about avoiding them rather than defending yourself. If you can avoid them altogether, then there's no reason to fear. Not, not so much fear, but to really get that mindset of defense. And I guess that mindset of defense with the bow was heavily influenced by the Bleak Inlet with the Timberwolves. Because there's no outrunning those. They, they just come. <laughs> and they hang around until you break the morale. And as soon as I got that bow, got used to the aiming. Whoops. As well as a good skill, good high enough skill, and we do have one left. Not much there. Let's get those cooking and grab these as well. We always score like big game, <laughs> and then it just runs out. We need to like really bring down a moose or a bear or something. Oh, not, not a bear, sorry, just a moose. And get all that meat, and just camp out in those houses at the back for as long as as long as possible until the meat runs out. Essentially, <laughs> yeah, I do love some medieval stuff. I haven't actually delved too much into Rome. Believe it or not, I love studying the Vikings. I am a sucker for the Vikings, but I figured. This year, I was giving myself a break. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I should really broaden my knowledge. And I decided to actually research uh, the martyrs of like medieval England and uh, I think it was Israel or well, the Middle East. I'll just coin it as the group it as the Middle East in case it was, I don't know, a different origin for the martyr I researched. But it was discovered in Israel. Oh, they're not doing too well with that aiming as of now. Seems to be either going straight overhead. Oh, that actually, wow. <laughs> that was surprising, that one. Yeah, pretty lit, this guy. Yeah. <clears throat> Get the feathers. That didn't even hit his head. That was straight into the body. I don't think there's any wolves, so we should be good to quarter. <sighs> Grab all these bags and bring them back to base. Might even be wise to get another deer, actually. Just to really secure our food. That way we can fish, keep building the stockpile. Let's go do that. Let's go find ourselves another deer. And yeah, it's, it's a really good path to take. Because you literally get put at the start of the river. And so coal does respawn along this creek, but I'm pretty sure. Coal is a renewable. We've just got to keep our ears open, because he did run over this hill. Yeah, he's still around. In fact, he's, he's right there. Yep, there he is. Okay, not for us. 
Instead, we're going to hope that there is a moose. Please. <laughs> Please, maybe. In fact, I wonder if there's anything up this hill that's in, of an interest. Might be a maple sapling, birch saplings as well. Any moose? Not by the looks of things. Oh, th th there is. Okay. Let's go just rest for like a little bit. <laughs> this is game changing. Let's go get our warmth back up and hunt ourselves a moose. Now, there are two really good ways. We've got five arrows. I mean, we should be able to take them down. There are two really good strategies to hunt a moose. One is to cheese it by getting to, you know, some sort of ledge or in and out of a building. And the second way is to actually take a long shots and hit them. If an animal gets hit by a bullet or an arrow from a distance and doesn't detect you, they're not going to know where you are. And they're actually going to run. Yeah, so he's, he's running. He's not charging me because he doesn't know I'm here. They're not going to bleed. It's not going to bleed out, though. It didn't even go far. I'm going to wait until he stops. Is that another hit? Okay, he's coming our way now. Going to back up to this house. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that was close. Is that all our arrows? That is all our arrows. There is one in the ground. Maybe this was a bad idea. Which now I can... No, he just didn't even charge us. Wow. Oh, he must be so low health now, right? <laughs> right? Let's go get this arrow real quick. It's like a like a mini skirmish. Where did the go? There it is. I'm sure one more hit. Nope, he's, he's just tanking everything. How did we get that one-shot kill back in Bleak Inlet? One more shot, you reckon? We've <laughs> hit him with everything. I'm gonna... It would be a lot better if we had a... Should we risk it? Eh, why not? <laughs> oh, there we go. You were right. I am always going to listen to you from now on. <laughs> Flossy, you were right. Round of applause for Flossy in the chat. <laughs> Hell yeah. That is a moose bagged. We're going to get... Hmm. You know what? I think the jacket is actually a better better thing to grab than the satchel. Reason being is because we are never encumbered. Well, we're never as encumbered as we are in Stalker. So that's our goal. The jacket. Looks like a new day. Oh, fire. Um, and the fire is out, I think. Can't really add anything. You can add this, but... Let's not worry. We can do this another time. Like, look at all this meat. This has got us set for, for days. And I'm going to keep sprinting. Because I think he's getting a little impatient now. In fact, it would have been a great day to light a fire to cook. <laughs> we don't have anything to cook, but in hindsight, 
got to remember that we have a mag lens and that we can use them. And we made it back. Chuck all that in the cooked pile. And quickly get inside. <laughs> Gonna have to sharpen a hatchet as well. We'll see if we can get all three. Might as well give it a shot. Might have to start crafting the pants. Sorry, boots tomorrow. Literally why I went out there for. <laughs> Okay, um, now we can use that for an hour, and then we'll have to switch to the other ones. I think we'll be able to sink in another two hours, maybe? Let's go an hour and a half. And we're going to have to start thinking about getting that other bear. Because that one's also close by to that shack. That shack is really good for a hunting trip, just to camp out. And then we'll score ourselves a bedroll, and then we'll be able to travel a lot more freely, especially into other regions like Hush River Valley for the Moose Satchel, if we ever want to get that. Yeah, stuff like that. In fact, if I am going into Hush River Valley for the Moose Satchel, I'll probably just get the Moose Satchel and go straight out again, and <laughs> never go back. Unless I do want to get the Faithful Cartographer, we should really aim for that. Oh, so and a wolf is on our tail. Alright, let me get inside. But anyways, I will end the stream here as it is time for me to get some sleep. Thank you everyone for watching and tuning in. Really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next run. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Yeah, I don't know where next stream is gonna take us. Most likely to Milton, but yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks, Flossie. Thanks for dropping by. See you all later.